Hello everybody, Paper Mario Century here, and we're back with some more Kirby 64 in the last episode. We had a rough time retrieving some of the crystal shards in this world, but in this episode we only have four to collect, because we just got this one and the boss level. So let's do this, and also, yeah, I, the one thing that I wanted to mention in previous episodes is how, uh, oh my god, whoa. It's how a lot of the, uh, what's it called, uh, power-ups are, uh, either useful or useless. And, uh, the rock cutter one is, uh, it's gotta be the, the it's like a situational one, because also RNG investment you have to go through. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're in one of the more glitchier parts of, uh, the NSO version. Although, I'm not sure if they fixed it, but uh, Kirby could potentially get stuck in, like, soft block, so I am going to try being aware of that. Also, the controls are a bit slippery. And also, yeah, this, is, this has a rumble pack inst installed in it. I'm just feeling, like, every little rumble. Uh, I'm guessing that you're going to have... Like, knowing this bomb enemies here, there's going to definitely be something that I need for, uh... To unlock something, or be a crystal shard or something. I honestly, you know, since uh, speaking of Kirby, uh, I mentioned quite a bit throughout this Let's Play about Kirby Right by Batcha. It's a very big, meaningful game, not game, but anime to me when I was younger. It was like one of my first few animes. It's actually one of the few video game adaptation animes I think it still holds up well. It's like, because they had Sakurai on the team. You know, we, I think he was there just to, like, supervise and also make sure that the uh, animators got everything he wanted right about Kirby. And I think they did a really good job, in my opinion. Uh, nothing here. And, uh, I realized how much I want, like, more of a Kirby anime, like, in similar to Right by Action. And there's, like, so many stuff from Kirby games later on that uh, I feel like they should get into. They didn't really delve too much into Superstar. They didn't do anything for 64, like, no, like, Dark Matter saga, it was just straight up just enemy. And we did face off enemy before, if you guys remember my, uh, old, uh, Kirby Adventure Let's Play. I don't like picked Kirby Adventure over, like, Nightmare and Dream One, which was clearly a really good remake of, uh, that game. But yeah, I kind of, kind of wish I did the, uh, remake, because that game is just, like, very much outdated and, uh, yeah, definitely does not hold up as well compared to its remake. I think the remake definitely fixed a lot of the uh, problems with uh, the original. I, again, I do wish that stuff in the past you can't really fix unless you do a remake of the Let's Play. And I'm not really interested in remaking... Oh my god. I'm not... Interested in remaking that Let's Play. I, and even if I was, there are still so many Let's Plays I feel like myself and also what I was watching would more per appropriately want. So, yeah, there's that. And I get that, too, because, like, why would I do something I did, like, maybe, like, 15 Let's Plays ago and do something instead of doing something I did almost 30 Let's Plays ago, so... I realized I almost did, like, a Mario pun there. Oh, my God. Go down, go down, go down. There's a Crystal Shard up there. Please, screw off Gordos. This is, I hate you in Smash, and I still... And I hate you in this game, too. Like, they literally, like, wobble you around. They just knock, knock you away so far. I think that's one of the few problems I've been having with this game, but... Otherwise, this game's been really fun. I really just enjoy using a lot of the uh, mixture power-ups. Okay, we got a bomb ability. I wonder if that's going to be used for anything. There's a piece of shard down here. Let's get that. Uh, no! Go down. Were you able to reach it? God damn it, we missed out. At least we know where that is, so when I come back for it. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. I hate the water physics for this. Oh my god.
Please give me that. Yes. Oh my god, I really needed that. I'm just like in a panic mode right now because all of this stuff is going on. I believe Bomb actually is a way to speedrun this boss fight. Oh my god. Screw off. Screw off. Would they respawn? Oh, don't want to get hit by any of these guys. Oh my god. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. I am out of here. I also realize how much more difficult. Where did that rock come from? Oh my god. I also realize how much more difficult this game is compared to more recent Kirby games. That just might also just be like the. The game kind of being a little bit dated, but I still feel like it holds up in a lot of good ways, in my opinion. Like, for example, the, uh, I still feel like the storybook aesthetic really holds up well. I feel like a lot of Kirby games have been taking, uh, a lot after that kind of, uh, style. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of games around this time that I was taking, uh, inspiration off of, uh, storybooks. Like Paper Mario, for example. And Klonoa. So I play a few good others, too. I'm not sure where that other one is. And we exit that cavern. Very much, uh, scathed. There we go, collect that. Still no idea what that is. Probably figure it out. Anyways, we got ourselves a boss fight. And, just when you thought, was Kirby the one with the big job? No, we got ourselves a boss fight with a shark. He's got just as big, if not a bigger job than us. And also, this is the, uh, I believe the glitch fight. Uh, because I know that, uh, if Kirby gets hit in a certain form, he, uh, gets, like, soft lock. And I believe this happens a lot in this fight. Can be moving to. Are we spinning up? Portals, please, for the love of God. Please just get hit more and more by this, please. Oh, I hate this power-up so much. Oh my god. Thank you for dying. And there we have it. We're having shark tonight, boys. Oh. It's collapsing. Wait, what the hell? We're supposed to swim and escape, weren't we? I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And this time, we will avoid this uh, uncertain death that I almost witnessed. I'm just gonna be dodging all these projectiles. Well, not projectiles, I guess things falling from above us. Oh, never mind. I thought that those were gonna hit us and damage us, but I guess not. 
this boss fight is still going us two phases, much like the ones we had before. Yep. It's back for round two. I also really like the use of 3D in, the, in the, these fights, because like it's showing you like the uh, the background where he's coming from. And oh my god, now he's shooting missiles at us. A shark, that, a shark shooting missiles is honestly pretty bad. It feels like something a, a kid would uh would throw it up as like a like an imaginary friend or something or a pet. Or like an original character of sorts. Where they're like, oh my god. here because we came so far. There we go. Oh my god. And there we have it. I've been saying that a lot throughout the sub fight. I guess that's my new catchphrase, huh? And they're just enjoying the sun rays. I don't think that was the best kind of rock to, to skip at, on the water. They're way too round. Or Kirby just washed up in that tidal wave. Honestly, we need more of these cutscenes. And off we go to our next world. Here we go, Neo Star. We'll be starting this one in the next episode, and we can start seeing more and more of the planets uh, as we progress, which is pretty cool. It just shows how big Kirby's uh, universe is. So anyways, love my videos and the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Ugh. Next time on Kirby 64, we'll be beginning Neo Star. What's so Neo about it? Well, we'll find out. And here is the one that we missed. Oh my god. Yeah, we saw the one that we uh, completely missed beforehand, so... Yeah, there's the one that we actually fully missed. You know it was down there. I guess I was just too busy at the top.